Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and I guess this is a life update regarding this channel and my username. So, it breaks my heart to say that Mocha, my cat, has passed away this past week on September 9th, 2019. So for probably most of you, if not everyone, you really don't care and I understand that. You know, it's just a cat after all, right? But for me, me personally, this cat was incredibly special and impactful on my life. So, now, Mocha was always considered my cat in my family. My mother and I picked him out, or picked him up, back in 2005 when I was barely in middle school. You know, we went to the animal shelter for fun, and when we got there, we kept hearing a cat meow constantly. It was almost an uninterrupted meowing, and this animal was basically telling us that he was alone and wanted attention and company. So we picked up that cat, and he was named Frank, but we renamed him Mocha, which I have basically now have a slideshow of him on screen. So Mocha, he was with me throughout almost all of my middle school, both of my high schools, both colleges I attended. He was with me during my first real job, my unemployment, and now my graduate studies. It's just, you know, he was with me for so many stages in my life that it's so hard to not see him by my side anymore. Whenever I was alone or needed company, you know, he was always there for me. When I came home from my second university you know, a couple years ago, because, you know, it was two, three hours away, Mocha was always here waiting for me to come back home to play. He always wanted to get rubbed and he was always waiting to have a good time with me. Almost every night since we picked him up from that shelter in Texas in 2005 or 2006, he slept on my bed and kept me company. He was always around me and would sleep at the end of the hallway from my bedroom to keep an eye on me. And because of that, I would make sure that I would always rub him and see how he was doing every night before I went to bed. He meant and still means so much to me personally. But like I said earlier, Mocha passed away because he had some rare pain, uh, pancreatic and gallbladder problem that would have cost us like 4000 to $5,000 on top of the current hospital treatment when we took him in a few days ago. I still remember the painful sounds he meowed when we saw him for the last time. And that he was ecstatic when we came to see him. <laughs> because he was initially coming out of his drug state, he was a little worried about who he was seeing, but because of my mother's and my talking and rubbing, he became extremely relaxed and wanted to get rubbed. He even put his head on my arm for the last time and gave me a little clawing like old times. But we needed to do the right thing. And we put him out of his pain and misery. I love Mocha so much. It's so hard to see anyone or any animal that you grow up with and grow in an emotional attachment and to see that animal or person pass on. You know, I don't reveal a lot or a ton of information about myself but I'm a very emotional person despite the persona I might not give off you know just I try not to be too emotional you know sometimes in my gameplay videos I can get angry or emotional but in general if you knew me in real life you you wouldn't think I'm an emotional person I can grow though very very attached to almost anything and anyone and when it or I must leave I become heartbroken like I am now. You know, I always remembered. I don't know why, but I always remembered this one story that my 8th grade teacher told us as a class about this one guy she knew and his cat. This guy she was talking about was outgoing and very, very well-to-do. He, he was fit, he had a ton of friends, but most importantly, he had this special cat that he had an incredible bond with. He loved this cat so much. But she told me, my 8th grade teacher told me, 
that when this cat passed away, he committed suicide because he couldn't stand living without his cat. Now, well, I'll let you know, I'm never going to do such an action, but I never understood why that man did that until now. Until now that I have experienced the same type of a loss. I recognize the pain and suffering that this man must have went through when his buddy passed away. You know, <clears throat> Mocha was my buddy and my friend, and I won't ever forget him. No one can replace him, but I am glad I got to know him and that he will forever be on YouTube and BitChute because of the special subscriber special I did. So, you know, I have other cats, but the I don't have such an emotional connection with those animals as I did Mocha because I literally grew up with Mocha. The other cats, they, they can be bribed with food and that's all they really want, but Mocha... He wanted to get to know you. He wanted to be around you. He he just loved being around the family. But, you know, I'm sorry if I brought some of you guys down with this video. I know you guys never really got to know him that well. I just wanted him to be a central part of this channel, but he's he's gone now. And because of that, I will focus more on myself than my cats. And that this channel, with my username, Mr. Mocha Lover, will about, be about me and my life and how my animals are a part of it, especially Binky and the animal you probably don't even know in my family still, Schnuggles. I know, I, I know I'm leaving things out of this video that I want to say, but I can't remember everything that I wanted to say, but I, I want to thank you guys, the viewers, for watching all of my videos and literally being a part of my life. It really means a lot to me, and because of this, I suppose I created a discord if you want to join and talk about yourself a little bit the link will be hopefully at this time down in the description below but anyways thank you very much for listening to a crazy cat lover i love you mocha and rest in peace my friend